Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to make sugar cookie dough. I use it for decorative cookies, but you could also just make these at home just to munch on. So I have started out with four eggs there, and this is actually me just preparing my ingredients because you're actually going to do your three cups of granulated sugar and you're going to do four sticks of unsalted softened butter and you're going to throw those in the mixer together. If you're using a hand mixer you can do that. Just make sure that you use the paddle attachment instead of your whisk attachment. Start out low and then you're going to gradually bring that speed up to medium to medium high. This is actually in real time, the speed that you see in the picture now. And I'm actually gonna bump it up a notch here in a second. There I go. And that's gonna bring it up to medium to high speed. And then I'm fast forwarding now. I'm obviously not going to beat it that high on the mixer. But once you've let it beat for a couple of minutes at medium to medium high, then you're gonna drop your mixing bowl down like I'm doing there and take a rubber spatula, a semi-flexible one so that you can actually get in underneath that beater on the very bottom of your mixing bowl. And you wanna make sure you scrape down all the sides, the blade underneath, every bit that you can get before turning that mixer back on again. Now I'm adding my eggs in. I'm doing about two at a time. You can also do one at a time as long as you incorporate them well. And I wouldn't turn it back onto a high speed. I would do low to medium low just to get those eggs completely incorporated into your butter sugar mixture. Now you see me scraping that bowl back down again, and you wanna make sure that you do that between each step, basically between each ingredient, so that you're always having everything completely incorporated and there's no dry ingredients or clumps stuck to the bottom of that bowl. This is vanilla extract, so I pour my vanilla extract, incorporate it into the cookie dough, and then at this step, you're actually gonna bump that back up to a higher speed, like medium to medium high, like you did in the first step, until it is completely incorporated and very light and fluffy. Now I'm adding in sour cream, and that is a regular sour cream I would not go with a low fat sour cream. You're gonna want that fat to really bind that cookie dough together. And you're gonna beat this in. You don't have to beat it on high. You're just gonna make it completely incorporated into your dough. Now that all the wet ingredients have been incorporated, we are going to add our dry ingredients. So I've got a little bit of salt and I've got six cups of all-purpose flour and then I'm gonna take a fork and just kind of blend those two dry ingredients a little bit so that salt gets incorporated into my flour. And then I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that dry mixture into the cookie dough. You don't wanna dump it all in at once because it'll just completely come right back out of the bowl and make a huge mess. I sprinkle in about a third of it at a time. You can also use like a measuring scoop or something to add little bits at a time. It's really just a matter of preference, but you never wanna bring it above 
the lowest setting on your mixture when you're adding a dry ingredient to keep it from completely coming out of the bowl and all over your countertop. Again, you're going to scrape that bowl down now that all the flour and salt mixture is combined into your cookie dough. Really make sure there's no flour stuck to the bottom of that bowl. And as you notice, I did not mix it very long. You really don't want to whip this. It should be nice and smooth and thick, but not full of air bubbles. So now that I've got it all done, I removed my bowl from the mixer. I'm scraping down my beater blade there so that I can completely get all the dough or at least as much as I can get off of there into my bowl. And then I'm going to just take my rubber spatula and stir it by hand a few times just to make sure everything's completely incorporated. And then I'm going to separate it into thirds. In other words, I'm just going to scoop out about a third of that cookie dough on just a plastic wrap to refrigerate. And once you have your dough wrapped up in thirds, you're going to refrigerate that overnight. If you don't have time to do that, you just need to refrigerate it for at least three hours before you roll it out. And here you see me rolling some cookie dough out. This is just leftover cookie dough I had from an order of cookies that I was making for someone. So I wanted to make a few small little cookie sandwiches. So it's a small round cutter. And I like to roll my dough out semi-thick. It's not super thin, but it's not as thick as some people. But it's really, again, a matter of preference. Just remember that the thinner you roll it out, the less baking time you're going to need. So once you get all this rolled out, you're going to place it on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. That really is going to make your life a lot easier when you are baking these cookies if they're not stuck. And as you can see, I just keep re-rolling that dough to try to get as many cookies as I can out of that section of dough. And this is your end product. I baked these at 325 in a convection oven and fill them with sprinkles and icing. Enjoy!